What's up, everybody? Welcome to Adventures with the Hendy, Hudson, New York. Today we are going to go up to Hudson, have a look around. Seeing that it is Black Friday, this ought to be interesting. Let's see what uh, kind of stuff goes on there on Bla at Black Friday. It There is a Walmart in Hudson, so let's see what's going on. Here we go! Y'all ready? Let's go! Alright, so here's the part where I went up to Hudson. Um, I'll put it into time lapse and I will do a voiceover of some f f interesting facts about Hudson as we drive along, okay? So, enjoy. Hudson is a city located along the west border of Columbia County, New York. It is named after the adjacent Hudson River and ultimately after the explorer, Henry Hudson. It is the county seat of Columbia County. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the city has a total of 2.3 square miles, or 6 kilometers squared. Hudson is located on what began as a split of land jutting into the Hudson River between the South Bay and the North Bay, now both a largely turned landfill. As of the 2010 census, there were 6,713 people, 2,911 households, and 1,390 families residing in Hudson. The land was purchased from native Mohicans by Dutch settlers in 1662 and was originally part of the town of Claverack. Formerly it was known as Claverack Landing. Settled, in, settled by New England whalers and merchants hailing primarily from Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, and Providence, Rhode Island, Hudson was chartered as a city in 1785. The self-described proprietors laid out a grid, city grid and Hudson grew rap rapidly as an active port coming within one vote be of being named the capital of New York State. Oh, look at this, everybody. I'm just rolling into Hudson now. Okay. We're going to start at the train station and make our way around the city from there. Okay? Here we go. Recalculating. What? Turn left on Warren Street. Ah, shit. Ah. Missed the damn turn. Oh, well. This He's part of my friends right there, but, uh, while I try to find out where we're supposed to go, I'll tell you more about Hudson. After a steep decline in the 60s and the 70s, the city has undergone a significant revival. A group of antiques dealers opened shops in the city's main thoroughfare, or Warren Street. Then turn left on South Front Street. In the mid-1980s, the earliest the being the, the Hudson Antique Center, founded by Alain Pierton, and the English Antique Center. Their numbers grew from a handful in the 1980s to almost 70 shops now, represented by the Hudson Antiques Dealer Association, or HADA. Following this business revival, the city experienced a residential revival as well and that is now known for its active art scene, antique shops, restaurants, art know. galleries, and nightlife. In the last few years, perhaps encouraged by the number of gay business owners among the original antiques dealers, Hudson has become a destination for gay people who have opened new businesses, moved here from larger urban areas, and who have been in the forefront of the restoration of many of the city's his historic houses. In 2010, Hudson hosted its first gay pride parade, which was attended by several hundred people. With hundreds of properties listed or to eligible to be listed in the state and national registers of historic places, Hudson has been called the finest 
Dictionary of American Architecture in New York State. Because it's Black Friday today. It is... Oh, I don't have a date feature in this car. Sure. But point being, it is Friday the 29th of November 2013. Hope everybody had a very safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. And, uh... We'll be right back with more. Okay, more of downtown Hudson. Okay, truck and please don't pull out right now. Thank you. Close. Yeah, sure. <coughs> if not, I have to find the city bank and I'll get some from there. Oh man, I really gotta take care. <coughs> Sorry if what I said right there was TMI, but this might not be TMI. The vast majority of properties in the register listed Hudson the Historic District are considered contributing. A discussion of Hudson's architecture, its history and recent revival, together with a collection of 200 period photographs of the city spanning the mid 19th and early 20th century, is Historic Hudson, an architectural portrait by historian Bern Fawn. In the 1990s and early 21st century, Hudson has had five mayors, William Allen, Dolly Allen, Richard Scalera, Kenneth Crana, and Richard Tracy. During that time, Scalera has been elected mayor seven times but declined to run twice. This period has been marked by unusual levels of friction between elected officials and residents as the demographics and economics of the city have shifted. This was followed from late 1998 until spring 2005 by a land use conflict between St. Lawrence Cement, a subsidiary of what was then one of the world's largest cement companies, the Swiss multinational giant Holder Bank, since then renamed Holsim, and private citizens. The company proposed a massive coal-fired cement manufacturing project sprawling over 1,800 acres or 7.3 kilometers squared in the city of Hudson and the town of Greenport in Columbia County. Sustained grassroots opposition to the project was spearheaded by business owner Peter Jung and journalist Sam Pratt, co-founders of Friends of Hudson, or FOH. The controversy garnered national attention from news outlets such as CNN and the New York Times as well as media outlets in Canada and Switzerland. The project was withdrawn after Secretary of State Randy Daniels determined that the company's plans were inconsistent with the state's 24 coastal policies, an outcome which opponents described as a co colossal relief and supporters denounced as flawed in its logic. Nearly 14,000 public comments were received by the state's Division of Coastal Resources. 80%, 87% of them opposed to the project, a record for that agency. Now as we drive along here, please enjoy the rest of the video. Arriving at Amtrak Hudson, on left. Too long, it's on the right. Oh, Amtrak employees only. Hold on. When it comes to traveling by train, Amtrak serves Hudson with four lines. The Adirondack, which goes between New York City and Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The Empire Service, which goes from New York City to either Albany, New York, or Buffalo, New York. The Ethan Allen Express, which goes from New York City to Rutland, Vermont. And the Maple Leaf, which operates between New York City and Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Look closely, everybody. It's snowing. Look really close. Can you see? Yeah. It's snowing. Yay. All right. Let's go have a look around.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have to use the prop, the sun visor as a prop for the camera. I don't have a proper camera tripod. Please excuse this. I apologize. So yeah. Let's go see how packed the Walmart is around here. Today, mind you ladies and gentlemen, it is Black Friday today. Please so, drive to highlighted route. No four. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Please stand by. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the either the angle or the shaking of the camera or the gray. That's the sun visor. Holy sh! It's really snowing. Please. Turn left on South Front Street. Please stand by while we get over to Walmart. Drive point two miles, then turn right on Columbia Street. Time lapse, activate! I love how one minute it's snowing and then the next minute it's not. Like as soon as I pull in front of that building to the right, it stops snowing. And then watch, as soon as I can pull away from this, it's gonna snow it's gonna start snowing like crazy again. I bet you anything that's gonna be the case. Just wait until this light turns green. Oh. How was that? I guess not. To be honest, I really don't know. The deal is... Well, we'll see. Alright, on with business. Oh my god, that's some... Wow, we got some serious competition going on here, folks. Take a look, I don't know if you can see it, but to the left there is Duncan. Up to that, McDonald's. To the right, immediately here, to the right just out of camera, is Duncan. And now here's Burger King. That's some serious competition. Holy sh We're just gonna drop in here really fast. Look at all the people here. Well, this ain't normal. Let me just get my camera. Well, hold that thought. Uh, to the left. It's crazier down there. Trust me.
Hey, buddy. Let's see, we got, what's this? Peebles. Never heard of that sort before. And this is uh, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. But uh, there are a lot of cars here, and that's my phone. Ah. Here's my best friend. Yep. Doll store discount. Cool. Oh, hi. Um, how do I get out of here now? Maybe like this. Alright, Walmart's in a mile. So. Wow, that's a mess. <laughs> oh, more competition. Right Aid's right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Right Aid's right here. Right there is Walgreens. Two pharmacies right next to each other. Sure, I've seen that before, but... Here we are, finally, Walmart. Walmart, Lowe's, Kohl's, and TJ Maxx are all here. I can only imagine how packed this is going to be. Ooh, Applebee's. Now we're eating out tonight, Mom and Dad. And we're gonna, no, we're not gonna make it. Ugh. Stand by, please. Hold on. All right, in here for PetSmart and TJ Maxx. And all the way down for where we're going. Fart Mart, I mean Walmart. Over here, we've got GameStop, GNC, Five, what the hell is that? Five Below and a couple other stores. And over there we've got our destination. Walmart! Let's go see how jam-packed this parking lot is. Holy shit! Now last year on Black Friday, I was up in Albany, New York with a couple friends at the Crossgates Mall. And we had the toughest, I mean toughest, time finding a parking spot. It looks like this one isn't going to be so bad, but look at the crowd. I can only imagine maybe earlier this morning it was, oh. But uh, let's run in and see how crazy it is in there. We'll represent for over here. A bit more up. That's all I gotta say. I have never seen Walmart that crowded in my life. Excuse me. This is the one up in Hudson, New York. That was crowded. Then again, it is Black Friday, so expect that. Uh, back the other way now. See you in a bit. Fun house there. <clears throat> And make this left here to Warren Street. I've got a Chinese restaurant in there. I've never seen a downtown this packed except for Bronxville. Bronxville, where I grew up, is... It's the SSA, Social Security Administration. Bronxville is a very small town. Square mile, 6,000 people living in it. And things are always crazy there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Thank you. Big truck. What's this? CMH Columbia Memorial Hospital. And 
there's a blue van. That's an old house. That girl and that one right there. I guess uh, lifted pickup trucks is the style around here. I just saw a lifted blue Ford and now I'm seeing that lifted silver Toyota. Uh, it's, hold on, higher up off the ground than it should be. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this episode of Adventures with the Hendy. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash bxv2009, and follow us on Twitter at bxv2009. If you have a suggestion for Adventures with the Hendy, please write us on Facebook or Twitter with hashtag AWTH suggestions. Again, thank you very much for watching Adventures with the Hendy. Adventures with the Hendy is a bxv2009 production. Copyright 2013, BXV 2009, Productions Incorporated, all rights reserved.